The Uchiha clan is known to be one of the strongest clans in the Naruto series, if not the strongest of them all. We are going to be ranking every Uchiha clan members, all the way from the weakest to the strongest. And the one who is the strongest among every Uchiha is not the one you think of. So watch till the end. You definitely are going to be amazed to know who the absolute strongest among the Uchihas is. Without any delay, let's start. The members of the Uchiha clan are blessed with the power of the Sharingan, thanks to having descended directly from Indra Otsutsuki. Over the years, countless Uchiha of incredible strength have appeared in the Naruto series, with some achieving godly powers. Those below managed to stand out even among their powerful clan members, while the vast majority of the strongest Uchiha clan members have already been listed here, there's a particular reason why each one of them was renowned over the world. 14. Izumi Uchiha. Izumi was a kunoichi of Konoha, and a strong one at that. She was one of Itachi's closest friends and also his love interest. Being an Uchiha, Izumi had access to the Sharingan, although her proficiency with it was unknown. Nonetheless, Izumi was skilled enough to be considered a strong Uchiha. She died on the night of the Uchiha clan downfall when Itachi Uchiha decided to kill the entire clan. Izumi was Itachi's first victim and he used the power of Tsukuyomi to kill her by making her live out her entire life within one second. 13. Inabi Uchiha Inabi Uchiha was a prominent figure of Konohagakure when Fugaku Uchiha led the clan. He was a member of the Konohagakure police force and was known to be quite strong. While his exact ninja rank is unknown, he wore a vest, meaning that he was a chunin, at the very least. Inabe was skilled enough to be one of the three main men under Fuguku Uchiha. His control over the Sharingan was impressive, as was his ability to use fire-release jutsu, especially in the anime. 12. Hikaku Uchiha One of the oldest members of the Uchiha clan, Hikaku was a fierce-looking man who served the group long before the formation of Konoha and the pact between Hashirama Senju and Madara Uchiha. Being a warrior raised on the battlefield, Hikaku was an excellent fighter. As an Uchiha, Hikaku had the power of the Sharingan, which made him quite dangerous in battle. Although the manga or the anime didn't reveal much about him, the third data book of Naruto mentions that he was one of the strongest Uchiha of his time, meaning even the likes of Madara Uchiha respected him. 11. Tajima Uchiha Just like Hikaku, Tajima is one of the oldest Uchiha clan members. He lived during the time of the Warring States era and engaged in constant battles with the Senju. A skilled fighter and the leader of the Uchiha clan before Madara, Tajima was well respected and considered to be a mighty warrior. He survived fighting countless wars with the Senju clan, which just goes to show that he was in a league of his own. 10. Sarada Uchiha A major character in Boruto, Sarada Uchiha is the daughter of Sasuke and Sakura and an incredibly talented ninja even at her young age. She's inherited the powers of both her parents, making her extremely capable in battle. Sarada has the power of the Sharingan, which has fully matured over time. Her skill with the eye is also exceptional, as she displayed when performing the Chidori. Sarada Uchiha is the leader of the next generation of the Uchiha clan, and certainly among the strongest Uchiha clan members. Sarada has not mastered her Sharingan completely just yet. Her strongest ability is the Chidori, which she uses thanks to her Sharingan. In time, she will get stronger and gain more impressive eye techniques. 9. Kagami Uchiha Kagami was one of the strongest Uchiha clan members and a skilled shinobi back in the day. He was an ancestor of Shisui Uchiha, quite a skilled ninja in his own right. Kagami was a jonin of Konoha, meaning he was quite powerful. What's more, he fought with the likes of Danzo and Hiruzen during the First Great Ninja War. Kagami's true power has never been seen in the anime, but he did possess the Sharingan and was presumably quite good at its usage. 8. Fugaku Uchiha The last known leader of the Uchiha clan, Fugaku, was the father of both Sasuke and Itachi. Being the leader of the clan, it is clear that Fugaku must have been extremely strong. He was up for the position of the fourth village leader as well, once again showing that he was much stronger than an average jonin. Fugaku also possessed the Mangekyo Sharingan and could control the Nine Tails with it. However, fans never got to see him use his eye. His true strength is something of a mystery. Very little was revealed about Fugaku during the Naruto series, however. His strongest ability was surely his Mangekyo Sharingan. 
Fugaku awakened this power at some point during the Third Great Ninja War. What exactly his eye could do was never revealed to the fans. However, Fugaku was absolutely certain that he could control the Nine Tails with its powers. 7. Shin Uchiha Shin was an experiment of Orochimaru, which the latter eventually abandoned. Shin's body was made entirely out of Hashirama's cells, and he possessed countless Sharingan embedded in it. Somehow Shin even managed to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan. Its powers let him mark any object with a seal and then telekinetically manipulate that object however he liked. Shin was strong enough to injure Naruto in combat, although the latter wasn't fighting at full force. Nonetheless, he's quite a powerful Uchiha, thanks to his immense chakra reserves and tricky Mangekyo Sharingan ability. 6. Shisui Uchiha Known to be the strongest Uchiha of his generation, Shisui was an incredibly capable Jonin of Konoha. He possessed incredible speed, which earned him the epithet of Shisui of the Body Flicker. At a very young age, Shisui fought in the Third Great Ninja War and survived. That was where he awakened his Mangekyo Sharingan when he watched a close friend of his die before his eyes. Shisui's eyes gave him the power to use Kotoa Matsukame, a powerful genjutsu that allows him to control anyone without them realizing it. Shisui was a respectable jonin of Konoha and one of the very few to not be affected by the clan's curse. As one of the strongest Uchiha clan members, what made Shisui special was the genjutsu called Kotomatsukami. His powers were such that even some legendary figures coveted them. Itachi called his powers to be the strongest among the illusionary class. 5. Izuna Uchiha Izuna was the younger brother of Madara Uchiha and an extremely powerful ninja. He was known to be a regular opponent for his older brother, meaning he wasn't much weaker than him back in the day. Izuna was the first Uchiha to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan along with his brother. He was quite skilled in the usage of this eye and could fight Tobirama Senju in countless battles. Sadly, Izuna died after Tobirama fatally wounded him in one such fight. Izuna was the younger brother of Madara and also among the deadliest of the Uchiha clan members to ever live. What made Izuna special was his Mangekyo Sharingan. Sadly, the specific abilities of his eyes were not known, however. This eye was only wielded by him and his brother at this point in time. Surely it was his biggest asset during the Warring States era. 4. Itachi Uchiha Itachi was one of the strongest Uchiha to ever live. Ever since he was born, Itachi was known to be a special talent. He had completely mastered the Sharingan before the age of 10, and some years later, awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan. With his eyes, Itachi could use Tsukuyomi, a genjutsu that gave him total control of time and space. This wasn't his only extraordinary technique either. He also possessed Amaterasu, a ninjutsu that let him produce inextinguishable black flames. Itachi was a special member of the clan, known to be among the strongest and smartest characters, not just among the clan, but the entire shinobi world. Itachi's strongest ability was certainly his genjutsu prowess. He mastered the Sharingan at a very young age and was feared all across the world for his special illusionary techniques. 3. Obito Uchiha Obito was quite a special case among the Uchiha. Unlike the rest, he wasn't a born genius. His latent powers awoke quite late, but when they did, Obito became a force to be reckoned with. His Mangekyo Sharingan ability allowed him to use Kamui, a space-time ninjutsu that could transport him and those he touched to the Kamui dimension instantaneously. Obito also had access to jutsu, such as the Izanagi, making him quite a threat to anyone. Furthermore, he even became the Ten Tails Jinchuriki during the Fourth Great Ninja War and ascended to the next level in doing so. Obito was among the strongest Uchiha clan members as well, and just like Madara, his strongest ability was also the transformation of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Obito's version was certainly weaker than that of Madara. Despite that, he was able to take on the entirety of the Shinobi Alliance during the war. Sadly, Obito fell due to his own weak resolve, which was very clear to see. Alongside this, he also had access to the powers of Kamui, which many considered to be his strongest weapon in combat. With all these powers, Obito was nigh invincible in battle and remains to be one of the most legendary ninjas to ever live. 2. Madara Uchiha Known to be the strongest of his generation, Madara Uchiha was the only shinobi in history capable of rivaling Hashirama Senju in his prime. Like his younger brother Izuna, Madara awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan at quite a young age. 
Following his brother's death, he gained the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and could tap into the dangerous power of the Susanoo. Madara was almost equal to Hashirama. However, when he awakened the Rinnegan, he surpassed his rival. Following his revival, Madara even became the Ten Tails Jinchuriki and attained incredible power. Madara was a legendary member of the Uchiha clan and what made him the strongest was his transformation into the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Madara ascended to this form during the Fourth Great Ninja War and reached his pinnacle as a shinobi. He had the power of two Rinnegan, the Rinna Sharingan and the Six Paths Jutsu. With all these powers, it was nearly impossible for Madara to lose, however. He was eventually struck down by Black Zetsu, his very own ally. And that is what ultimately led to his fall. 1. Sasuke Uchiha Sasuke is the strongest known Uchiha in the Naruto series. He mastered the Sharingan at quite a young age and following Itachi's death, gained the Mangekyo Sharingan. After implanting his brother's eyes, Sasuke became the only second person after Madara to have the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. In the fourth great ninja war, he gained the power of the Rinnegan in his left eye and attained the six paths, Yin Chakra. With this power could fight Madara on par and even overwhelm him. After the war, his control over his eye improved even more and by adulthood he became an equal to Naruto in terms of strength. Undoubtedly, Sasuke's strongest ability is the Rinnegan. The Rinnegan is a legendary eye that was possessed by the Sage of Six Paths at one at one point. Sasuke awakened this eye during the Fourth Great Ninja War. Just as Kabuto theorized, his Sharingan ended up turning into a Rinnegan after receiving the chakra of the Sage of Six Paths. With this eye, Sasuke declared himself to be invincible. Furthermore, Sasuke could also find a way to attain immortality with this eye. In the fight against Naruto, he demonstrated control over this eye that was comparable to Hagoromo. After the war, he went on to master all the powers of this eye and became the strongest Uchiha clan member.